There we go. We're live. All right, hi guys. I thought I'd pop on. Um, I'm on my own this evening. Andrea is in London. Hang on. Done it again. It's playing in the background. Damn adverts. <laughs> hey, Sean Travels. Hi, Andrea, Money Mental UK. How are you doing? Yeah, I was just saying, Andrea um, is in London at a gig. She's gone up with our daughter, Ellen. I can't even remember the uh, the young chap they've gone to see. So I can't tell you who they've gone to see. And, and I've been drafting, uh, prepping, and you know, getting stuff ready to list. So I thought I'd do it live just for fun. Um, Hi, Andrew, Matthew, Joanne, James, One Lion Sound, Lady Lolly, Night Owl Nick. Yeah, a little bit. I, um, I'm a bit of a night owl anyway. And I don't know quite what to do with myself when I'm rattling around here on my own. So I thought I'd come on and chat to you while I list some stuff. It's not exciting stuff, but it's stuff that I can do quickly and easily. Sealed media. With sealed media, I tend to grab a product image either off eBay or sometimes the ones on Amazon are better uh, because with new stock uh, I'm more than happy to just use a product image as long as it's exactly the same and then just stick that in and list it so all of this this stuff I picked up at the weekend actually I paid a tenner for all of this I was looking them up last night I should get 20 plus on that and between five and ten on each of these so that was a nice little score wow lots of people saying hello someone talking about unbelievable scenes at tottenham stadium it means nothing to me don't do football hi richard hi sam this is the face of a man who's been defeated in a quiz. I, I was I was outclassed. I was trying to eat my tea and put the answers in, and that split second was, was enough. That's my excuse. And then I got red carded and I was out. We need some top tips for listing the tight margin stuff. If you've got, seriously, if you've got stuff with, tight margins it wants to be stuff that's quick and easy to do which media is good for that you can just bash them out quick for want of a better phrase are you banning andrew from this chat would i do such a thing would i ban someone from this chat well yes i would but not necessarily andrew hi dan birch yes i'm well so anyway i'm gonna list and you can chat with me or chat at me. <laughs> you only English who hates football. I don't hate football. I I quite enjoy watching it. I'm just not. A, I'm not a fanatic, shall we say? I don't follow it in detail. Have you or Andrea explored Depop? I think Andrea has. She's tried several of those apps with varied degrees of success. I don't really do clothing, so for me no okay so i'm gonna open up ebay see with media the other beauty of media if it's in google's database at least you can pre-fill i tend to do sell similar anyway uh shall i screen share do you want to see this stuff uh i doubt you'll learn much but you can have a look this is my process with media there you go should we talk about listing media um application window that one share right hey so all i've just done there is scan the barcode i have a usb barcode scanner uh, i'm just going to go into solds and just check what sort of price i want to run it at see 2104 free shipping um international one there i paid two pounds for this uh at the weekend I don't like titles that are all capitals, but who cares? Let's just use it. So what I would tend to do, let's see if I can use that image. Hold on. 
Why can I not zoom in on it? Uh, I want to use that image. Let's go into another one. So because I'm listing a brand new sealed item, I will happily use a product image. Why can I not pull these out? What am I doing wrong, people? Here we go. Right. So I don't know if it's the same on PCs, but on Mac, it's Command Shift 4. And then you can. I want that border to go away at the bottom. There we go. So let's do that again. Then you get this little cursory thing, and you can just cut a picture out. I'll have a nice little black border to make it jump out. I think we'll grab that picture of the rear. Ooh, a picture of the rear. Uh, oh, that'll do. So that. Gives all the information. That's the seven albums. Is it seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven albums that are on it. Come out of there. Click sell it yourself. Oh, hang on, my yeah, that is a UK listing. It complete Atlantic Studio albums, nineteen seventy-seven to nineteen ninety-one. Why they don't have foreigner, which is the artist in their title, is beyond me. I will just add new and sealed. Copy that. Stick that in there. Um, like so. So then we want to make sure we've got new layout. Stick the barcode in. I think. I don't know if this is something that eBay has in there. Um, catalog whether it can pre fill all this stuff or whether this listing was already pre filled. Let's have a look. No, it doesn't seem to be pulling that up. Is that... Hmm, okay, so then I can just drop in those pictures I've just scanned. My computer's going to run slow now because it's doing too many things at once. Oh, look, all my pictures I'm showing live on the internet. Um, so we want that one and that one. Done. Record label Atlantic duration album release year 91. I'm not sure that's right. Nope, it's 2014, but we'll add that and then change it. Release date. Publication date 2014. Okay, that's fine. Uh, release year. 2014 right blah 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 that would be we will just do that make it bold i like to give it a little bit of color make it a tiny bit larger check it's mobile friendly fix it save it good till cancel we're going to go 21.99 quantity one Free shipping, we'll stick local collection in. Uh, GSP, I think I will do my own shipping on this because it's lightweight. I can do it as a large letter. 216 grams. Yep, worldwide tract I can do for tenor. So I'm going to do my own international. Worldwide, signed, 10 pounds. There's very few of these available. I'm not going to bother promoting it and that is done and that will have a think about it come on you can do it there we go all right let me just come out of here for a sec so that's basically my process for listing listing media when it's sealed um with sealed stuff like i was just saying i'm happy to just use product images um i either get them from another ebay listing or from amazon i just cut and paste them uh, and it's as simple as that so i can rattle through this sort of stuff in no time i think i worked out it's about 80 90 pounds worth of profit here from one 10 pound pickup that's why i love media uh it's not quite as quick <coughs> with you stuff because i tend to take my own pictures obviously but 
not far off it. So I'm going to do that for a while on here. Let me scroll back, see da, 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 what people are saying. Hi, Karen, and bye, Karen. How do you tackle postage fees? They seem to take all my profit. Also, is, a cheap, is there a cheaper way to post? Um, it shouldn't take away all your profit. You charge, charge the buyer the postage. And if you're having so-called free shipping, free shipping, which doesn't exist, factor it into your price. Um, these will go large letter. I have an online Royal Mail account. I use click and drop. Um, so these will be costing me less than a pound to ship. Um, and as you just saw, I listed that 22 pounds. It cost me two pounds. There's a big chunk of margin in there. Um, hi, Rod, how are you doing? Hi, Kieran. Yeah, this won't be the most exciting live stream. I was basically, I'm home alone. My wife has uh, run off to London with our daughter to a gig. I'm sitting here bored listening. So I thought I'd um, share it with you. Uh, Saz guess, wow, I never check mobile friendly, just assumed it was. I also need to look into stock photos for some clothes. It's worth clicking that mobile friendly button. Uh, only takes a second. How do you have no listing fees? I want to start posting stuff on eBay and it says I need to pay an, an initiation fee of 36p. I have a shop, I'm a business seller. I pay a monthly fee um, to have that shop and I get a certain amount of listings as part of that deal so that's why i'm not being charged to list these because i've basically already paid for them um so yeah that's why where did you pick those up i picked those up at a boot sale i think it's in a video that's coming out in the next few days we we were filming on the gopro at that boot sale so hopefully you'll see me pick all of these up uh -uh -uh. Is it worth selling CDs without, without original cases in good condition on eBay? In 99% of cases, I would say no, because CDs are so cheap anyway. If you've got something rare or unusual, possibly. Um, but I doubt it's worth the effort. What am I cooking? Nothing. I've had, I've had, I've had my takeaway. Okay. I'm going to scroll down to the end. I've still pulled in 177 people. Okay. Did you decide on a price for the hairdryer? Yes. There's not much demand for it. I was a little bit disappointed. Um, and now I've said yes. I can't remember what I decided. I remember looking at prices and finding there was quite a few available. If you didn't see the haul recently, you won't have seen this. Pink, pink 1960s hairdryer. I think I'm going to struggle to get sort of 15, 20 pounds out of it. Um, I can't remember what I decided. It might have been 20 pounds. But there was there was a bunch of them on there and people hadn't been achieving much. But I tend to aim high, as you know. So, yes, Polly stroke Kerry. I did get red carded. I got bored, so I just kind of spammed it and made him ban me. He would sell his own mother for 50p. Mm, I'm not sure I'd manage to sell my mother, to be fair. Did you sell the Mega Drive games? Uh, no, they are actually going into Amazon. There's a load more stuff that's being processed to go up to Amazon. Um, they were going on eBay. I may yet change my mind. Wow, lots of questions. Do you ship any items under two kilograms Royal Mail second class signed for? Yes. Also, do you always charge for postage on listings? No, I either charge for it or I add it into the price. It's basically the same thing. Um, but I vary it. Te I te with media, most people and, and the kind of expected on eBay is free shipping, but you just build the postage into your cost. <laughs> I get told off for winding Andrew up. I didn't get away with it, I got red carded. Okay, right, let's do another one. Let's list. So that's done. 
Now, I've got a couple of these Foreigner albums. I don't think these were that great. Let me screen share again. I'm probably going to go out of sync. Usually when I screen share a lot, it um, puts my voice out of sync for some reason. Okay, so let's have a look. Finished. I'll scan the barcode again. Right, so we're going to solds and new. So somebody there, it's in Switzerland, but they got 739. This one's UK, they got 499. I'm just gonna see the good thing to do when you're checking prices is see what your current competition is, what's actually listed now. Yeah, there's not much in these. I think we're gonna go a fiver on these. Um, which isn't great. Um, not all of these are fantastic. I don't know. Should I go for Yeah. We'll just go a fiver. So, foreigner, the best of foreigner, four and more. Right, let's pop in here, see if I can pinch that product image. Um, I said it a minute ago, if you've just joined me, I'm listing brand new products. Hence, I am happy to just use a stock image. This isn't their photo of this image. This is probably grabbed off Amazon or something similar. I can't seem to zoom in on the images. There we go. So we will grab that. And we'll grab the back image. Oh, hang on, let me just hide. I can hide that. There we go. Okay, so the back image is handy because it lists all of the track details. It saves me putting them in the listing. We'll go sell yourself. I can do two quantity available at five pound free shipping each. So there won't be much margin in these. Uh, paid a pound. I basically grabbed pretty much, I left a couple of bits they had, but I pretty much grabbed um, all the lady had, apart from a handful of titles that looked a bit sort of budgety. Foreigner, the best of foreigner, four or more, CD, I'm going to put the word album in there. Copy that. Stick the barcode in. Let that update. Right, whack those photos in. That one, that one. Okay. Genre. Phonas. It's, it's kind of soft rock, really, isn't it? Is soft rock an option? Soft rock. Um, title, we'll just go with best of. That'll be for me. So stick that in there. That's all I need for that. Do the old mobile friendly checker, fix it. Still cannot believe they can't automate that. So we're gonna just, just go 499, we've got to. Free, no, no. And there we go. Um, I can just do that. Right, I think that's done. Did those pictures come up okay? Perfect. And that's it. That's what I love about media. It's quick and painless. The other beauty of media um, is if you if you sell it or when you sell it, it is it takes this long to package. Done. Label prints out, label gets put on. 
So yeah, obviously these these weren't great at five pound free shipping. Um, two off one listing, so it's not terrible, but yeah, I'm happy. Um, da, da, da. But yeah, the first one more than makes up for it. Two pounds into twenty odd. So right, let's try this. Emerson Lake and Palmer, good old ELP. This is the works. Double CD Deluxe. I think there's a bit of money in this. Mm -mm -mm. Nick, thought characters such as brackets, commas, and dashes were advised to leave out of titles. Don't know. Uh, maybe. Perhaps I sh shouldn't be leaving those in. Um, not once do I get a hello. I said hello right at the beginning, Andrew. High graded gem says Nick never commented before, but ever thought of using Ink Frog? No, I've heard of that. What is that? <laughs> I'm not sure what it is. Hi, Aid. Just scrolling back. Um, Aid is spending his evening reorganizing stock. I was getting so many issues sending items second class standard. Now I send them second class signed for it. Safeguards the buyer and seller. You can track the items. It's so much better. Yes. Um, thankfully, through my account, I can get everything tracked anyway. I do add signed for on some stuff. Um, but you get the 2D barcodes now with click and drop. So it's all tracked anyway. What's the highest price CD or LP you got on eBay? Do you mean that I've got listed? I don't have a lot of high price stuff listed at the moment. Okay. Hmm. Does mobile friendly really matter? Um, well, a massive percentage of sales on eBay come through my mobile now. And if you don't, make it so it's mobile friendly as such uh, it won't display correctly and it's harder to read so in that sense yes but have you ever tried drop shipping no i nearly always get that question okay right let's do another one so this emerson lake and palmer i can't remember what it's going for this cost me a pound at the weekend oh hang on i'm not screen sharing um what am i doing I'll do something different in a minute. We'll 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 draft we'll draft that hair dryer. Um, I haven't done the pictures, so I can't drop the pictures in for this. So what I tend to do is draft, and then I will do a either I'll do the photographs beforehand and then add them in on my phone, or what I'm going to do is draft all of this tonight, and then I'll do the pictures tomorrow, and just drop them in on the app. Okay. So let's see, let's find out how much this ELP album is worth and get it listed. Okay, so finished. So we'll scan it in, see what we can find. We'll go on to solds. So £10.26 with shipping on top. So it's 11 76 13.49, is that UK? Yeah, 11.69, good old music magpie there. So I'm going to kind of pick an average of all of that. I'm going to go 12.99 free, I think. Let's see what the current active competition is. Oh, there we go, 12.99 free, 11.74 free. These are new. Oh, actually, I mean, it owes me a pound. I would like to get the sale, so I'm going to... I'm going to go, well, he's on at 11.74. I don't think I can do much to stand out against these apart from price. So oh, I'm going to go 11.49, just like that. Yeah, I'm going to be that undercutting person. Um, oh, is it a best of? Oh, I think Andrew's just about to come in front door. Oh, hang on. They're back from London. I'm live, by the way. 
Yeah. No, I don't mean I'm alive. I mean I'm live on Tinternet. Okay, let's. Oh, I can't get a picture off that. It's not letting me click on it. Let's try another one. Yeah. Rubbish. Hmm. Okay. I'll do the draft and I'll grab a picture afterwards. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Fantastic. So, considering it's called The Works, is that a best of? Is it like a... I'm not really sure. 2017 remaster. Let's add that in. 2017 remaster. I'm going to add the word album in. Okay. We will make that bold. Give it a little bit of color, make it bigger, check the mobile friendly. Fix that. Donk. Save. Okay, so it's just called Works Volume 2 Artist. Hang on, have we not put the... No. Scan the barcode. Da, 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 da. Genre, ELP. Oh, what would you call ELP? Well, it's rock of sorts. We going soft rock again? Space rock. Uh, soft. Emerson Lake. Oops. Oh, capitals. And Palmer. Duration, album, blah, blah, blah. God, so much faff. Right. Eleven forty nine quantity one. I need to go and grab a picture. Can't forget that. That's fine. I'll do my own international sign for at ten pounds. I'm going to do a little bit of promo on this because there was quite a lot listed. Just a touch. Um, right. Let's quickly go into Amazon. Oh, look at that evil Furby just there. Evil Furby. Oh, it's <laughs> it's wanting me to sign in with right. Okay. <sighs> Amazon. Right. So, like I said, if you just join me, I'm just listing some brand new sealed media. So I'm happy to use product images, as in, um, not use my own pictures um these look okay can i can i make that bigger that'll do right so we'll grab that and reverse yep that's exactly the same as what i've got here we will also grab that right so we can now chuck those pictures in add photos so again won't make you rich but it's quick it's easy one pounds into 1150 with free shipping so shipping and fees have got to come out of that uh what does that leave i don't know you figure it out so there you go so we've got front of come on come on come on there it is front of the album the reverse which has all of the tracks and i'm good to go Another one done. Polly says, I used to love picking CDs at Amazon. Oh, you worked at Amazon. So quick. Yeah. Do 
Ten thousand subs with no vids. Great name. <laughs> Have you really got ten thousand subs? Uh, what's the most expensive thing you've ever listed on eBay? Uh, a camper van. But I wasn't reselling it. That was my own camper van, and we sold that for oh god, what was it? Six grand or eight grand? I honestly can't remember. But the, the most expensive thing I sold that I bought in order to resell was an Atari cartridge, which sold for 5200 And I paid a pound for that. What scanner do you use? That is a generic USB scanner. You can pick these up on eBay for about a tenner. Plug and play thing. Yeah. This came, we had a couple of these. We used to run a, a retail outlet, a gaming shop similar to CEX, and we had a couple of these in the shop and we just kept them. Question, Nick, have you set yourself a target to list numbers and values? No, but I did last week and I've just uploaded a video, which I think will probably be live on Friday, where I had a week kind of listing challenge. So you can see in that one, uh, I, I tracked how many items I was listing and the value of them. And then I kind of wrapped it all up at the end of the week. So yeah, you can watch that on Friday. Okay. Oh, if you're interested in that, uh, Jay Pumdog says, whoa, more info on the Atari cartridge. If you search on YouTube, um, Nick Hills, which is my name, N-I-C Hills, and then Atari, it should come up. There's, there was a series of videos about what it was, where I got it. And then we live streamed it finishing. And the guy who bought it, who was a collector in Poland, the eventual winner, was watching the video live on YouTube when he bought it. It was it was bizarre. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Mary says, I've just started my car boot eBay resale today. Uh, 49 items listed, hoping for sales now. Just DVDs so far. I learned from your YouTube videos. Okay, best of luck with it. DVDs are very hit and miss. Most these days aren't worth much. I'll do a DVD next, actually. Now we're talking about DVDs. Um, so... Porridge picked up at the weekend. I think I paid a pound. It might have even been 50 pence. The reason I went for it, as with the other bits I'm listing at the minute, it's brand new and sealed. So you can ask a premium. Um, oh, BCP has just linked one of the Atari cart videos. There's other ones where I show me playing it and talking about the find, etc. So let's see what we can get on this porridge. I did look it up, but I can't remember. So, oh, hang on, screen share. Do, 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 do. Okay, so let's quickly do a DVD. That's that one done. Again, we will scan it using the USB scanner see what that brings up and um, we will go we're only interested in solds and new so we will highlight new and sold so zoom they're a big seller online they're selling them at 12.99 that effectively is the same price um somebody managed to get 20 how have they done that 4th of March. Wow. 1295, 9.99. So the kind of going rate seems to be 12.99. I'm intrigued by this one. Uh, they've put a complete collection every episode in the title i mean was that enough to get no it's just maybe there just wasn't any others listed when they listed theirs speaking of which let's see what my competition is nick i've just bought something from your ebay did you my phone is not in here so i didn't hear the ka-ching uh thank you so much for that 
See, look, I mean, these guys, Zoom, uh, have sold 631 off this listing, and this is still active. Um, there's a way of finding out how, how much stock. See, they've still got more than 11, more than 13. How many have they got? Yeah, they've got loads left. They've got 22 left because 23 asks me to enter a lower number. 22 is fine. So they've got 22 left that they're selling at 12.99 and free. So I think I'm going to simply go there. I can't get a decent. Now I need to find a listing where I can grab. Actually, let's go into Amazon and grab their image. Uh, if you're just joining me, uh, people like to moan about using other people's images. These are brand new sealed items. I'm happy to use a product image. Um, I do it all the time with sealed stuff. Don't see the problem. So if we can zoom in on there. So this is Amazon's image. We will just grab that. Um, that's I might as well get two while I'm here. Okay, so yeah, that other chap got 19.99, but I think I don't know. Perhaps it was a fluke. I'm happy to turn this stuff over. Like I just said to you, I think this was 50 pence or a pound, so plenty of margin in it at 12.99, even when you take shipping and fees out. So, but what did he use? Complete collection. Every episode every episode yeah box set dvd c sealed okay that'll do me copy that stick it in there um oh scan the barcode Come on. Right, so we can now drop in those images we just found on Amazon. Both of those done. It's recommending sub genre of boxing. I think I'll leave that. Television comedy, region code two, format DVD, rating 15. That's all correct. Release year 2011. Not that it's really relevant, but yeah, that's correct. Certificate. I don't know why they have two boxes for certificate. Got certificate and rating. Same thing, surely. Surely. Surely, Shirley. Um, complete series box set. That's series one and two, wasn't it? Was there two series? Complete series one, two, three. And we'll stick porridge in there. Okay, that'll do for me. Oh, that's disappeared. Right, there we go. I like that. Bold, bit of color, mobile friendly checker. Fix it, save it. Uh, 12.95, that 4P, that 4P underneath Zoom might be the difference. <laughs> you never know. Um, okay. Yeah, free shipping. I don't know if you have to put zero in there. It always leaves that leaves that box blank. So I'd feel compelled to put a zero in it. But yeah, um, that's actually a bit weighty to do international sign at ten. I'm just gonna. Um, we'll add GSP. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of promotion because there's a lot of people selling this. Uh, something like that. Job done. All right, let's come back out of here. I don't think I'll stick on for too long. Uh, the girls are home now and I've really been and said a proper hello. So come out of there.
question does it make a difference to gsp pricing if you add the weight and dimensions into the listings on a pc as i just use my phone and it doesn't have that option apparently yes it does they use those to determine the gsp price uh i'm sure it was hannah at ebay that was telling us that um i'm terrible for not bothering with that i'll be honest um but apparently it does nick spell check why what have i done every have i spelled everyone oh dear <laughs> you spelled everyone <laughs> what did i put hang on let me go back in oh yeah i did i put i put it eerie hang on i'm just going to revise it while i look at it now see i knew there's a reason why i was doing this live so you can spot my stupid mistakes um right let's revise Ear, eerie episode <laughs> it's got that special eerie episode that everyone remembers all right every there we go thank you revise done thank you <laughs> i'm taking you to bed with me now says andrew that that talking of eerie that's that's creepy <laughs> I have a loft. I have a loft find old LPs. Are they any good? Well, the, the question, are LPs any good? It's kind of a how long is a bit of string question. Some LPs are worth a fortune. Most LPs are worth very little. Um, but in all seriousness, vinyl has made a huge comeback so that there's a much bigger market for vinyl now. Um, you basically want big bands you want the beatles you want the stones you want led zepp you want pink floyd all of that stuff but also stuff you've never heard of that is rare and unusual and um, so it's a case of getting on ebay and researching question how do you track your stock purchases sales and profits um how do i track my stock purchases well i write everything down in a in a ledger um, that I spend cash on for tax purposes, obviously. Um, so we keep track of it that way. Sales, we keep track of through our um, monthly PayPal deposits. Yeah, it's, it's not difficult, really. Do you only buy sealed DVDs? No, not at all. I'm just listing sealed ones right now, just because I've got a bunch here which is all unsealed used stuff which is going on as well that's not the weirdest thing he has said tonight he told our group chat to imagine him naked didn't you andrew i believe that kenneth christensen cassette tapes have made a comeback yes and that's why we bought about two or three hundred at the weekend uh they're all boxed up down here i went through a load of them last night and there is some good stuff in there i think on balance there's a lot of crap that i'm just going to bundle uh i've paid 35 pounds for i don't know how many it's two or three hundred uh i still think it was a good investment but it's not quite as good as i thought there was no way i could look through it all there's a load of real cheapo rubbish in there but then there's a lot of stuff that hopefully i'll be able to list individually and do well on and then bundle the rest um <laughs> richard payne some classical albums can do well picked up a few 60 pound ones lately yeah i find that with cds as well cds uh classical stuff is well worth taking a punt um yeah some do really well on amazon uh, if you're talking about vinyl i've never sold classical vinyl but i can imagine yeah there must be some money in it do you pay yourselves a fixed salary and invest the rest good question no we we take out of the business what we need as and when really that's how we've always kind of worked it um and if it builds up we take out a lump sum you know as and when um sorry i've got a really itchy nose 
But no, I mean, we've been doing this for an awful long time and it, it's not easy to manage your money when you're self-employed, especially if you're not, if you can't predict what you're going to make each month. Um, but we tend to leave as much money in the business as we can so we can respond to a deal if it comes up. For example, when we cleared out the Hyundai dealership last year of all those car parts, we had that money to hand. We didn't have to borrow that money to invest in that. Um, so we've always found it beneficial to leave as much as we can in the business to respond to a deal if it comes up. Best car boots you remember going to off the top of your head. The best car boots I remember are from my childhood. When I used to go around with my grandfather, who's no longer with me, and we would just rummage and stuff. I am a chip off the old block when it comes to my granddad. Um, yeah, I still miss him. He died in 1997. I remember I was with him, and he went up to a stall, and there was a load of junk on the stall. He picked up an old leather wallet, and he said to the guy, what? No, he took a look, took a look in it. Well, I just opened it pulled the little thing apart where the notes are and there was a there was a five pound note in it and he put it back he showed it to me i was like oh wow i was i don't know how old it was maybe 10 and he said to get held held it up and he goes how much is this wallet is this for sale and the guy said like 50p or whatever and that made my granddad's week that did so he bought he bought a five pound note in a in a wallet for 50p Nick's getting his vengeance for his red car. I'm not getting vengeance. I'm just reading out comments. <laughs> Do you find clearing shelves really fun when you get a deal? I have learned to enjoy it. I must admit, when I first started doing RA and I first started going big on RA deals, um, we're talking about clearing brand new stuff in supermarkets and shops. I was super, super self-conscious of it. Um, but I've done it for so many years now. Yeah, I've kind of flipped that on its head and I do I do enjoy it. And if people start staring at me or asking weird questions, I kind of just almost enjoy that as well, you know, because I know having worked in retail as well, I know, you know, what's the worst that can happen? They can say no, they're just doing their job and most of the time they're fine. My local charity shop sells DVDs for 10p each. What sort of ones would you buy? I would buy ones that are worth some money on eBay. I know it's it's not a very helpful question, but I can't list a load of DVDs that are worth money. You know, scan them into Amazon or eBay and find out. Sealed sealed ones is a good start. If if I'm in a shop and there's uh, in a charity shop and there's a, a wall of DVDs, I'll quickly flick through and pull out the sealed ones and and see, and see what they are, and then have a scan and see if there's anything rare or unusual. But I've been selling media since the 90s, so I've built up a little bit of knowledge. Yes, Kenneth, some of the celebrities are publishing their new albums on cassette tapes. Yeah, bands are going back to cassette. It's that trendy. Hi, Dave. Dave says, I'm new to the channel. Just wanted to say hi, really enjoying the videos. What's the best way for me to start selling? I what to buy to resell. Well, there's a big question. If you're literally just starting, we always recommend go through your house, go through your shed, go through your garage, find everything that you think might have some value that you're not using or don't need anymore and start there. List that stuff. You don't have to invest any money in it. You'll find out about the process of listing on eBay. You'll find out about the process of packaging, of shipping, all at no cost to yourself. You hopefully build up some feedback, get some money in the bank, gain some confidence, and then start going out trying to find stuff to resell. And then what we tend to recommend is start with something you're passionate about. For me, it's always been media. That that's So computer games was my kind of way into reselling. Um, but I've always been a music fan, uh, worked in record shops and Virgin and places like that. So this is my comfort zone and that was that was my route in but it's evolved into everything you see on the channel really how many people try to steal from your car boot sales when you do them lots i would imagine uh 
Yeah, I, I don't think we've ever seen someone stealing from us. Right, I'm going to scroll down because I'm way behind. I cleared Tesco of £11 microwave, microwaves. Felt well awkward. Yeah, it can be a little bit. If you ever see God Save the Queen single by the pistols on A&M, grab it quick. One bought in a charity shop went for 13 grand. Wow. What is your thoughts on auction houses for stock? Can be fantastic. We, we used to do a lot more buying at auction. We dabbled a little bit last year. There's some videos on the channel about that. Um, but we haven't done recently. Right, I can't keep up with the chat. I'm going to list something else. What else should we do? Um, yeah, let's do these Guardians of the Galaxy. I picked these up. Um, is the video out yet? Yeah, yeah, I think the video is already out. Where we went to a book sale and then we went on to do a load of charity shops and eventually found some good stuff in the last couple of charity shops we went in. These were 50p each. They're Guardians of the Galaxy and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I did initially think I was going to pair them up, but they seem to go well because they're new and sealed on their own. So we will go and have a look. We'll start with the first one. I've not seen these. I don't know if they're any good. Not really my bag, the whole superhero -y thing, to be honest. Right, let's quickly go and list one of these. Mm -mm. I've lost my eBay window. Okay, so let's have a look what they're going for. <coughs> Excuse me. Why has that not brought anything up? Is it missing a number off? Sometimes this scanner misses the first number off. That should do it. Okay, so we'll go to sold. We'll go to new. So there's Zoom again, they're selling them for seven, 640, 640, 595, 645. So if I want to get it turned over quick, I need to be at around six or just over six. Yeah. I'm happy at that. I would rather sell it quick. So we will go 599, I think. And that should get picked off super fast. With media, um, most media is really quite competitive. Um, if it's something that's rare or unusual and I'm, I'm going to do my own international shipping on it, I might go higher. I tend to do that on rare and unusual CDs. But this sort of thing, I find you're better off to get in and out quick. Um, no, so let's just grab the nearest one. Oh, I want to get a picture of the... Uh, let's see if we can find a picture on... Amazon again. Sometimes this has a card sleeve. It did actually have a card sleeve, but it was a little bit grubby. Oh, it's missed the eight off again. Stupid thing. Yeah, see, it did have... Oh, that's annoying. It did have that card sleeve on it, but I got rid of it. Now, am I going to have to actually take a photograph? Yawn. Uh, right, here we go. Let's see if we can grab that picky donk. Now, do hopefully that will be good enough quality. Sometimes, if you grab an image like that, it tells you it's not enough pixels. We'll soon find out. Am I actually screen sharing? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's got the blooming image there. Look, oh, I want to map it. <laughs> it's preloaded it after all of that faff. Uh, yawn. Okay, so blah, blah, blah. Guardians of the Galaxy DVD, Marvel, New and Sealed. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll stick with the title they've put in. Uh, copy, paste, 
That'll do. You don't need a whole lot of detail with these. Mobile friendly checker. Fix it. Save that. Okay, so we're going to price competitively to get it gone. Five ninety nine. Um, free shipping. Uh, we will. I'm not even going to bother with international. I mean, this will just go UK and it'll go quick. So I'll give it a tiny bit of promo to, you know, hopefully get it viewed. And that's done. So we'll do the other one quickly. So, same process. We'll scan it, we'll find out the going rate by clicking on sold and new so there's zoom again at seven pounds so six pound six pound six pound five fifty five forty nine five ninety nine six pound yeah we're gonna go six on this um so if they yeah I'll go sell like this, and I think that will pre-fill with the image this time again. There you go. And because it's brand new and sealed, I'm happy to use the product image. If you just join me, I know I get moaned about this sometimes. <laughs> These are not used items, hence I am using product images, and I'm happy to do so. Um, new and sealed. Copy. Certificate, why didn't that pre-fill then, don't know. Brand, music artist, what? Music artist? I'm in DVD and Blu-rays, odd. Okay. So we'll just make that bold, make it a bit colorful just for fun. Check the mobile friendly, save that. What did I say? Five nine nine. I think so. Same price. And we're done. Uh, I'm not going to offer international on it. And we'll give that a tiny boost as well. Done. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. There you go. I know media isn't for everybody. Um, like I said many times, I enjoy it. It's quick to list, as you just saw. Super quick to package. Put it in a jiffy bag. You seal the jiffy bag. You stick the label on. You put it in the post. Um, as for profits, um, fifty pence each. Selling it five ninety nine. Let's say a pound for postage, but it won't be a pound. And then you've got 10% fees and PayPal fees. Let's call that so six, uh, 60p plus PayPal. So let's say another pound. Let's round it to another pound. So let's say two pounds in fees. It's going to leave me four pounds. Take off the 50p. Three pound 50 for how long did they take me to list? A minute or two. You won't get rich doing it unless you've got, you know, mountains of them. But it's quick. It's easy. Where did you pick up the DVDs, Nick, says Elmo. I picked these up, these particular ones, in uh, the book sale. That's in the video that I think is out already. Yeah, it is out already. Um, the, the CDs I was listening before were picked up at the boot sale at the weekend. There's a video coming of that. I think I got some GoPro footage of me finding these and rummaging around. But I haven't looked. I haven't looked at the footage back, and it's a bit hit and miss with the GoPro as to whether, you know, I, I manage it because I hold it in my hands. Whether I, re I remember to point it in the right direction, or it gets covered up, or I forget to film. So I don't know. Um, Mary says one pound and six to post a DVD first class. Um, yeah, that might be right. I have I get discounts through my online business account, and I tend to do second class. Um, but yeah, so I get it a bit cheaper. 
have you ever gone down the collectible card game route lots of money if you know what you're looking for uh, I used to do lots and lots of Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. When we had the gaming store, we used to run tournaments for those formats, but primarily Magic the Gathering, and we were a stockist for Wizards of the Coasts, and we used to sell new and used trading cards. So, yeah, did years and years of that. Uh, I used to do a fair bit on eBay, but I don't anymore. Robert, how many hours do you work per week on average? I don't know. We kind of work as long and hard as we feel like. We're, we're in a privileged position, as in we we don't have a lot of outgoings. We're mortgage-free. Um, when we had retail outlets, that we we did really well on those, and we bought and paid for our house. So we, we then came out of retail to live a much more stress-free life, and we, we, we sell online to have complete independence and we choose to work the hours we want, if that makes any sense. Some weeks I work really hard, some weeks I do very little, if anything. Why did you shut down your store? Um, we shut down the gaming shop because we'd achieved what we wanted to, which was to buy our house and pay it off. And Andrea was really struggling with the amount of stress we were getting from things like break-ins and aggro from customers. We, we ran a place where we would buy our stock in over the counter as well as do new stuff. We had, you know, we did all the new gaming charts and CD charts and DVD charts. So we had accounts with all of those people, Sony, Nintendo, Microsoft, etc. Um, that was a lot of stress as well, a lot of work. But what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. But because we did trading in, there was a lot of aggro. A lot of people would come in expecting X amount of money for their stuff. And when you couldn't offer it, there'd be there'd be arguments and there'd be stress with all of that. Um, so we got out, basically. Uh, we also had a we only a few years back, I think it's about four years ago now. We we went back to the high street and set up a clothing store, um, secondhand clothing store. And that didn't work out because what we wanted to do with that one was to staff it. That was our goal with that. And we couldn't make it make enough money to put staff in. So we closed that as well. Why do you do your own international shipping rather than eBay global shipping program? Um, on this sort of stuff that's light and I can sell as a large letter, I can ship it cheaper than the GSP generally. Um, I could do that worldwide for £10, tracked and signed, whereas GSP would almost certainly be more. Um, so on media and light items, I'll offer it myself. For everything else, I'll do GSP. When are we having cooking with Nick? We're not having cooking with Nick. <laughs> I, I'm not a fancy chef like Andrew is. Hmm. Where was your shop? In Hitchin, in the town where I live. Oh, Andrew's in on his stealth account, hey? Oh, I see. Have two accounts, do you? Found any 4K films yet to sell? No. How to ship with Hermes? It's not difficult. They have a website. They explain it all on there. What would you say is the best product to buy and sell for profit in your experience? That's that's a huge question. In my experience, in my the best product, what single product? <laughs> what would you say is the best product to buy and sell for profit? I would say rare video games there you go um finding them is another battle um uh james is asking oh how the scotch dispensers are going um 
right i did the first week or so i did well and i got i got into profit on my whole investment um i sold a bunch on amazon i sold a couple of lots on ebay i thought the deal was was kind of over and there wouldn't be any more stock about there because i left that video at least a week and a half or two weeks before putting it up so i didn't shoot myself in the foot but i think stock was kind of finding its way onto shelves up and down the country in tesco's and lots and lots of people got in on it and ebay became flooded and prices came down um similar thing happened on amazon and they're not so bad on amazon so i made the decision um i got my investment back and i'm in profit already anyway the video has gone on to make me a lot of money because it had what's it had now 270 odd thousand views when it went crazy which is another story i might make a video about that actually because that was quite an, an eye-opener um but i'm gonna relist that in q4 when everybody's looking for sellotape and um when everybody who's now playing the race to the bottom price wise when they've all sold out at this time of year and through the summer or whatever i'll sell it at christmas when everyone who has those little wrist strappy things suddenly wants to do their christmas wrapping and they run out and the shops don't sell it anymore because they've discontinued it and they'll go onto amazon and ebay and buy mine is my plan <laughs> How expensive was it to open up on the high street? Uh, <coughs> very. Did you take a big hit on that one on the clothes shop? Yes. Um, yeah, we lost a lot of money on that. And I remember talking about it on here, on this channel at the time. Um, we, we're still glad we did it. We know we, we needed to get that out of our system. And I think doing high street retail I'll never say never, but I think it's completely out of our system now. I still miss the gaming shop, and I would I would probably go back into that again. <laughs> oh, Richard found a load of those dispensers at the boot sale. Um, didn't buy them. They were after 50p each. Wow, okay interesting well shortly after i made the video apparently they were available for like 13p each anyway yeah james i don't think my notifications are working anyway i think i'm gonna leave it here thank you for the company i'm gonna draft a bunch more of this but i'm gonna go and say hello to uh andrew and ellen now because they're back from the gig in london hope that was in interesting maybe there was something in there that was useful maybe you know, you found a little tip or some information that you can use to help you make some money. Uh, if you enjoy these vids, remember to subscribe, uh, press the little bell notification button. Although according to the chat, the notifications aren't going out. So I'm not sure what good that'll do. And um, yeah, we'll see you soon. Dave says, so glad you put that video on. Oh, what, the Scotch tape one? Because that's how I found your channel and I'm addicted now. I'll tell you what, I'm glad I put that video on because that video, I will do it. I think I'd make a video because a lot of people are fascinated about how much money you can make from YouTube. And that's the first video we've had that's gone anywhere near viral. And it only made it to a quarter of a million views or whatever. But I think that would make an interesting video just to show you what is possible with YouTube. And if I knew how to get a video to do that again, oh my God, I'd be doing it. But yeah, it's a mystery to me. Anyway, take care, folks. We'll see you soon. Tomorrow, we have a live chat going out at six. We have um, Edward on, and we're gonna talk about, I might as well give it away now. We're gonna talk about um, how resellers um, are helping the environment by what we do because uh, it's recycling in action and we're going to talk about that so join us at six if you can and then i think the day after so it'll be friday now there'll be a video coming about last week when i set myself a listing challenge and i share how many items i got listed and for how much value so yeah look out for that one see you later guys thanks for watching